At no point do I wear a sidearm or, or go out and do any kind of you know, real aggressive military type training because I am a dentist. The capabilities are exactly the same as a private practice. We are not bound by insurance companies paying. We don't have to worry about paying for overhead. So we can give them the best care that they deserve. If I want to go to a, uh, another practitioner and say, hey, I've never really seen how this is done, they'll jump right in and show me how it's done. Same for me. If they've never done it, I can show them. And kind of share patient cases just very easily you know, without having to set the patient up with an appointment two weeks later, three weeks later to go see the specialist, then go see that specialist. Everything's in-house and just so much more uh, normal and naturalized. I get to cross-train in a bunch of different departments. I wouldn't get that opportunity on the civilian side. I needed another way to fund my education. I got accepted to the Health Profession Scholarship Program. Regardless if it was a affordable state school or a private school, the Navy was going to pay for my education. I did four years of dental school. I did three more years of training. Went on my first tour of duty. I traveled all over Alaska, went to Singapore, Saipan, Guatemala, Puerto Rico, all of humanitarian missions. To be able to sit out here and know that you've taken care of thousands of kids out in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean or the middle of the Indian Ocean, you know, you've done dentistry that maybe 1% of your entire graduating class will ever have done. That's a pretty neat thing.